I'm going to create a model template for use with model-based definition. And a critical aspect is using what's called a schema, which is an organization of combination states so that you don't get what people call the bowl of spaghetti look, where you have all your annotations visible on the default all state, and you can't tell what anything is. And for a good reference, for devising a schema, you might want to download MIL standard 31000, which contains information about setting up models for model-based definition. And the interesting thing about this MIL standard is that it is based on Creo Parametric. Let's minimize this. And right now I am in Creo Parametric 2.0. When you're creating your model templates, I recommend that you do it in the oldest version of Creo that you need to support. Last summer, I don't know what I was thinking, I was making some new model templates for myself and I was accidentally in Creo Parametric 5.0 and so I can't use them for any of the work that I do in 3.0 or 4.0. So that's why I'm going all the way back to 2.0 for making my template. And you'll start off with one of PTC's templates. I'm going to choose new to create a part, and this is going to be for my company, and it's going to be a part, and I'm gonna do this one in metric, and I'll put MBD in the name. And let's call this the start part. Put in the name here. And rather than use default template, let's navigate to where PTC's templates are on my computer. There we go. And let's use millimeter Newton seconds part solid. That's good. Click the OK button and OK and my part is created. I'm going to leave the datums with the same name. Let me go into model properties and millimeter Newton seconds, that's good for uh, this as well. But if you wanted to change the units, you could click on change and use one of the other systems that come from PTC or create your own custom set of units. So the thing that I'm going to do next is fix my layers. Let's close out of here and I'll access layers from the quick access toolbar that I've customized. And here are the layers that come from PTC. I'm just gonna change three of these. I don't like the naming scheme that PTC uses. So first off, let's go to layer properties. And for this one, I'm going to throw the default coordinate system on it. And I'm gonna change the name of this to default datums. And I like to, let's see, let's use the one that they have for datum planes. And I'm gonna to go to layer properties. And for this one, I like to have this for all the datum planes except for the default datums. And let's go to the rules, make sure that they're associative, like to have everything checked. And edit rules, yep, everything, all datum planes, that's good, let's click okay change the name of this one. So you can leverage a lot of the layers that come from PTC. And I'm gonna create one other custom one, show you how to do that. Let's right click over the layer tree and go to new layer. I like to have a layer for my data sharing features. And let's go to the rules tab, options, make sure everything is checked. Now I'm going to edit rules and I'm looking for features of type and for the options I'm going to, let's see, oh wait, that's good, query builder is enabled. All right, so type is equal to data sharing and let's see, we wanna copy geom in there and external copy geom. So I'm gonna grab about six of these, I'm not gonna do everything let's grab our
Okay, that's good. I'll go back later on and clean this up and make sure I have all the different data sharing type features in there. Okay, click OK. And I'm going to continue on with this. So I'm not going to, in order to avoid boring you, I am going to put in a quick edit here and we'll come back when I have the layers set up the way that I want them to be. Okay, that's good. I have my layers set up. Nice, simple scheme that I'm using. And the next thing that I will go to is setting up the different views for the combination state. So in the view manager, let's go to the orient tab and I'm just going to create a bunch of new ones and I'm going to use the name of the combination state that they are going to be associated with. And I'm going to just create a whole bunch of these right now, just clicking on the new button and typing in the new name. So again, going to put in a quick edit here so I don't bore you and we'll come back when I am done. All right, so I've got my saved views created. You can see them here and they correspond to the names of the combination states that I am going to create now. So let's go to the All tab and New and Again, let's type in the names we're going to use. And I'm just going to click the new button a bunch of times and create all my different combination states here. And I'll come back when I am finished and then show you how to edit them. Okay, I have created all my different combination states. Now I am going to right click on them and choose redefine and Make sure that they are set to the orientation that I created. So zero default combination state is going to use the zero default orientation. And I don't have to change anything else in here. Let's hit the check mark. So now I will repeat that process for all my different combination states. Make sure that they are associated with the correct orientation. And I'll come back when I am finished with this. Okay, all my combination states are now associated with the correct orientation. Let's close out of here. And here you can see my different combination states down at the bottom of the screen. So let's go through these and do additional configuration. So here I am on zero default. Let's click on the annotate tab. And we can see that we hover over here. These are the different annotation planes. but on zero default we are going to put our legal notices so that's going to be a flat to screen note and click on the notes button over here and let us create a new note and for the text let's insert from file and let me go to my working directory Okay, forgot to hit the place button. So there we have our note on the screen, flat to screen, and it is on the zero default state. Next up, let's go to three properties, and I'm also going to do a flat to screen note on here. So here's where you could list out any of the different key characteristics. Let's create a note and new, and let's have this one be for the weight and ampersand pro MP mass and hit the place button and let's locate up over here and again we could put in more information if we want if you wanted maybe the basic length width height dimensions or any other key characteristics you can put on this uh, three properties tab Okay, let's hit done out of there. And on the four notes, let's do a, another note. And let's insert from file. Grab some of my different standard notes. Let's hit the place button and upper left hand corner. So that way we have our standard notes on here and then people can go back and add in the ones that are particular to 
this particular model. You can also create annotation features for each of the combination states. And so let's go to annotate and annotation feature. And if I remember correctly, uh, that was recommended in Creo 2.0 and 3.0, but in 4.0 and 5.0, you might not really need to use annotation features anymore for organizing your combination states. But just in case, let's create one. Annotation feature, and for the properties here, I'm going to change it to the name of the combination state. And click OK and then right click on it and move to footer. That way they are at the bottom of the tree. And I'm just gonna repeat that process for each one of my combination states and then we'll come back. All right, now we are on the two titles combination state. And again, we are flat to screen and I'm going to place a symbol to represent my title block. So let's go to symbol and then custom symbol and here's our title block that I have. Let's crank up the scale here to about 60. And I'm just going to drop it in the lower right hand corner. That's good. Let's click OK. And so that way I have my little symbol on there for my title block. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.